Well, I've got a little bit of turning to do here to uh, work on more of the top area. Uh, I'm not going to do the cartouche until the very last, but uh, as you can see in the center there, there's a pedestal or pediment, and it's about three and a half inches high by an inch and a quarter thick. In, um, in the, at its thickest point, obviously, it's a semicircle of just about a semicircle. Anyway, uh, and then of course it has a cap on it, uh, so I've got to make, got to turn those two. So since I was turning, I thought I would do the finials as well, which are over here on the side. To make the uh, turnings, I glued up some cherry stock here, two inches thick, uh, for the um, cap as well as the, the uh, pedestal itself. So they're, they're larger uh, than they need to be, but um, I had some eight-quarter stock there, so I just put some uh, craft paper and glued them together so I've got the thickness. For the uh, finials, I've got uh, a drawing here of what the, the uh, finial looks like that I copied off of that big picture that you saw behind me. So that, uh, you need a, a half inch uh, dowel down on the bottom, so altogether that's about six inches by an inch and three quarters there at its widest point. So I only need a single piece of stock uh, for that. So while I'm waiting for these to dry, um, over here, the glue up, uh, I thought I would get started on the finial. I turned a finial this morning and I got it pretty close to this drawing that I made off of the uh, large drawing that I had blown up from the uh, actual uh, piece that was at Winter Tour. So uh, I think I got it pretty close to uh, the dimensions that are here and uh, Kind of looks like the the finial. So now all I do is gotta try to make a second one that looks like the first one. I'm turning my uh, second finial here, and I'm the world's uh, worst turner. So getting them to match, I've got the base done here, and a couple of fillets there, and then the OG that's in here. This bead has to be put on here yet, but. Right now I'm making the slope that goes from here down to there. So we'll see how well I can do that. You can see I'm getting there, turning the ball. Working on uh, the pedestal that goes up on the top of the uh, the molding, and I had glued up some eight quarter cherry stock the other day, and uh, so this was four inches square. This is going to be the cap that goes on there, and I had glued it up the same way. This is there's enough should be enough material there to do two of them in case I mess up. But anyway, uh, this was four inches square. I turned it to the appropriate diameter 
And uh, then what I did was I looked at the photograph that I have of the uh, pedestal and I counted the number of uh, flutes that there were on it and there were 12. So I calculated uh, what their, the distance was across here and it turns out they're an even uh, 12 at 3 eighths of an inch a piece which uh, makes some sense that they would have used uh, a uh, device that they had a, a, like a scratch dock uh, to uh, put them into the material back in the day. So um, I've used, I have this device here which I used for uh, making quarter columns, fluting quarter columns uh, with a router. I had to modify it a little bit because the diameter of this particular uh, piece is was too large. So I had to raise it up a qu three quarters of an inch uh, so that I had room for the uh, router bit. And uh, we'll put it in the bed here, clamp it in. So the starting point is marked uh, right here. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. So there's a little black mark there. And I've marked them out all the way across the diameter. And uh, it's just a matter of locking it in place. There, it's not going to move anymore. Then take the router which rides in this groove here and then line it up with the mark and once you get the depth right you'll be ready to go and you only really have to you run it from here to here pull it back and turn it uh, line it up with the mark and back and forth the cats they go straight through and then the capital uh, the top or, uh, will fit on top of it to, to finish it off. So we'll give it a try here. I'm making about the fifth pass here and it's working all right. Uh, it's not the best but I can uh, finish it off by hand I'm sure. <laughs> And I, I think you can see them in there. They're a little pointy, but uh, I could round them back over again. Well, I did both sides of the turning here, trying to get them even. And uh, I cleaned them up with a little sandpaper, trying to get them as even as possible. And of course, as smooth as possible. So there's two sets here and uh, we'll see if we can get them apart if I can get the chisel in on the mark there we go so now there's a line mark down here where they need to be cut off so I'll use the bandsaw register this side and cut it uh, across there so that's the next step well I cut it, both of them in half and I like this one the best of the two so um, that's where it'll be I gotta now I have to turn the capital that uh, fits on top of that well I turned the top of the pedestal now and uh, I had a block of wood that allowed me to turn two of them. And so this is the first one that I did and it was not very well. So then I did it again uh, over here, as you can see, and it's much, much better. So I cleaned it up a little bit with some sandpaper and I think we're ready to take it apart.
and of course we have four of them now but two of them are good these two here and here and of course this we'll just take this off with a handsaw and then uh, cut it through here probably with the bandsaw to uh, it's only supposed to be a sixteenth of an inch here but I uh, left a lot more so we'll just chop them off and uh, then we'll have the pedestals done well I put the pillow uh, or pedestal up on the uh, chest up against the uh, lattice uh, where it will be and I uh, put the top on or capital on top of that and um, the lattice still needs some more cleanup and carving yet but um, and then uh, I put the uh, two finials uh, left and right there as you can see uh, that we've done from the turning so it looks pretty good and I think I'm pretty much uh, done with this phase of it uh, I'm not going to do the cartouche until the very last uh, and I'm not going to mount these uh, pieces, glue them up and mount them until um, I'm pretty much done with the chest. So the next step is to start working on drawers. <laughs>